No more Mr. Nice Guy, child of God. I will fight anyone who stands in my way. No more Mr. Nice Guy. This video is for children of the Most High God. Yes. This is intended for ladies and gentlemen. But no more Mr. Nice Guy. Many people, and I used to be one of these people, believe that as a child of God, the verse in the Bible that says we are led as sheep to slaughter means that we just allow Satan's children and demonic forces to just run rampant in our lives. And we just become some type of a punching bag spiritually and emotionally for this world and for people of this world. That we lay everything at Christ's feet and do not pick up our weapon, our sword of the spirit and our spiritual warfare, use our mouth to rebuke and to renounce these demonic forces in Jesus name. I've mentioned in previous videos about the hierarchy. So as humans, we have a hierarchy where the man is over the woman and the woman is over the child. But man is under God in this hierarchy. But the reality is every thing in existence is under God. Every knee shall bow to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Satan is in submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. Demons, entities from hell, angels in heaven are all under submission to our Lord Jesus Christ. We, child of God, are children of God. So in Jesus name, we have power over everything in existence, okay? When we have spiritual warfare attacks that come against us, maybe the first time it happens, the second time it happens, the third time it happens, it may take a while before you really come into the warrior that you're meant to be. Because unfortunately, a lot of churches and a lot of people don't speak about this. Yes, I, I know there's a lot of um, deliverance ministries out here. I'm not talking about deliverance from demon possession. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about when we're under spiritual warfare attack, whether it's from a person that the Lord has revealed to us where it's coming from, or we just feel that we're being bombarded from many different directions, which is one of the tactics that Satan uses. He doesn't just have one situation attack a child of God. Just like in the book of Job, it's one thing after another thing after another thing, major setbacks, major things happen. Multiple things can happen. Several people can seem to turn against a child of God all around the same time. This is how Satan works. But as a child of God, this video I wanna to talk to you about is not getting caught up and not getting it twisted that because you are humble, because you have given the Lord control over your life, which means you have control over your temper, you don't curse with your mouth, um, meaning profanity or curse people with your mouth, you give unforgiveness to God so you don't walk around with bitterness and hatred and ready to fight physically at the drop of a dime. These are attributes of a child of the Most High God. But some people take that too far where it's like we're not even supposed to stand up for ourselves when we're under attack spiritually or when we're under verbal attack. I think it's very important for us to be able to stand up for ourselves when we need to. If someone accuses you of something or someone is treating you poorly, emotionally abusive or physically abusive, will you fight back? 
Will you stand up for yourself, child of God? You are a child of the Most High God. You have dignity. You stand with your head held high. You walk like a champion because you are one. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. You deserve respect. You have dignity for yourself. And you deserve to be treated with respect because you respect others. Don't get it twisted, child of God. It may take time, depending on where you are in your walk with Christ, or also your culture, how you were raised, different things that in your, maybe your household or in your culture, what's normal, a normal response to an aggressive person. Maybe your culture, your family dynamics, it was to be aggressive right back and to scream right back. So maybe with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ, he will change your nature. But that doesn't mean that you're here to be abused. And it doesn't mean that you're here to be um, trampled over. If this message resonates with you, if you have found yourself allowing people to mistreat you and abuse you, all in the name of you're a Christian and you're not supposed to say anything, you're not supposed to speak up for yourself, you may even label yourself shy or timid. And many times, because we do know that God will fight our battles, we let everything go. But many times, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this, and I want you to understand that I mean this as a child of God, not to come at people the way that they come at us, not with profanity and cursing and ready to just jump on somebody that hasn't attacked you or hasn't given you reason to feel that you are under threat. I'm talking about understanding that in the hierarchy of all creation, you're a child of God, you're royalty. We are not to be prideful, arrogant, and conceited, but we must understand who we are. If Satan, has his, if Satan had his way, Satan's children and those who are under the influence of this world would literally treat children of God as carpet, as ground or something to stomp on, as garbage pails. That's how they would treat us. And that's not what God has called for us. We should learn with time to speak up for ourselves with tact and with self-respect and dignity while honoring the Lord Jesus Christ. Say what needs to be said, but make sure people understand that you're not here to be abused. And on a spiritual level, because many people are covert about the way they are. They wouldn't come to your face and tell you, but behind your back, they'll slander you or maybe curse you behind your back. That's how many of Satan's children operate. When you feel that you're under spiritual attack, by all means, use the power that is vested in you to fight back. In the name of Jesus, we have the power and the authority. Outside of Christ, we don't. Because in this hierarchy of things, humans are underneath Satan. Humans are underneath demonic activity. A Christian, a person who calls himself a Christian, who is not lined up under Jesus, is weaker than a witch or warlock that is using demons. The only power that we have as a child of God is in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I'm always encouraging us to stay on the narrow path stay in the light do not tamper with darkness do not celebrate demonic holidays do not do things and engage yourself in things that are going to jeopardize the holy spirit to grieve the holy spirit or to affect your walk there is power in the name of jesus but we we must be under the authority of jesus and when we say that he is our lord and savior those aren't just words he's our savior Yes, but he is our Lord. 
we bow our knee to the Lord Jesus. He has dominion over our life. But once we are under the authority of Jesus Christ, there is power and we use his name never in vain. We use his name to effect change in the spiritual realm. But child of God, you are not here to be abused and trampled on from children of Satan. So speak up when you need to speak up. Ask God to help you to have the courage to stand up for yourself in the physical and in the spiritual realm. And that's the message I have for you today. Technically, we are all spiritual warriors. This is a spiritual war that we're in. And God has equipped us to be the warriors that we are meant to be. But do not lay your, your arms down at in the front lines and just allow Satan to destroy you. So stay strong, child of God, and keep on the full armor of God. You are strong and mighty in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. God bless you.